insulation right there in that vent, of course. Running the maze, chewing on the metal pipes. It sounds like there's a pipe that's almost ready to go because it's a brrrr. You can hear them brrrr. So it'll only be a matter of time before they chew through the piping, and then I'm gonna have a we're gonna have a water issue. So, like I said, I, I just don't know when enough is enough for the district. dozen mice from the end of September to maybe two weeks ago. Now they've just become immune to all of the traps and aren't hitting the traps, but they are definitely still living here. Um, we've got pictures of all of that, pictures of the destruction and the nesting that they're doing under the house, um, pictures of my sofa that they have chewed through, pictures of the back of the stove and oven, which I cannot use now because they are also nesting in my oven. I don't need to be here. I have health issues. I'm an HIV AIDS patient with renal failure, asthma, a heart condition. And to think that I've been breathing this in for months when my heater was working, to know now that they've been living in my heating system, peeing and pooping, and I, so I spend as little time as possible as I can in my own home and just couch bounce from friend to friend right now. Yeah, yeah. The rodents are so, so strong that they rip this open and they're living inside underneath our house. We didn't see them until like November when my husband found a big rodent this big in his bedroom that our cat had caught. And our cat eats, eats, eats them. And he was so deathly ill that we thought he was going to die because he was throwing up the dead rodent and it smelled like death and it was disgusting. They're living in the trees, the, the rodents. At night we hear them scattering, going up and down, up and down. So they come out from from inside during the at night and they hunt. And you guys did not have this problem before? Never, never. And I mean, we've had maybe one or two mice about this big in the last well, my husband's li lived here all his life, but I have never seen anything like this before in my life. Here's my cards. These cards are worth so much money, and they've just destroyed them. Yeah, it's just, it's ridiculous. It really is. <laughs> I've got traps under the bed, traps under here, traps under there. And, uh... I, just, I'm, I don't know what to do. I went across the street to the school and talked to one of the contractors for, um, the, from the construction company, and he basically told me it wasn't their problem, that he didn't know what to tell me. Then Teresa Atkins contacted the district that was in charge of the project. Um, I contacted her. I sent her pictures of all of the damage. Within a couple of days, she got back in touch with me and told me that they were gave all the pictures to vermin control for the school and that they were going to do an investigation. And I said, okay, just let me know when I need to be home. She said, no, the investigation won't be of your home. The investigation will be of the school. I told her, I don't understand what you're investigating at the school. The school has been leveled. In 20 years I have lived here, I've had one mouse and now I'm killing them by the dozens. So the owner has taken it into her hands. They are coming, they came out, realized that there is nowhere for these vermin to get into my house, that they are actually traveling through tunnels underground. So now they are going to proceed with pumping poison in the ground under the property. But I expect the district to just come in and make it right. You know, everyone keeps telling me, oh, you need to sue them, you need to sue them. I'm not that type of person. I just want them to wrong their right, that's it.